Castlewood Country Club is located in Pleasanton, California. It's an upper middle class community. It's a beautiful place to raise a family. For lack of a better word, uh, very hoity-toity. Most crime we have is an uh, out-of-hand cocktail party. My mom and dad were wonderful adventurers. They loved to travel. In March 2008, we were planning to go to Hawaii. My husband, my two children, and myself with my two parents. I had been calling my mother several times a day for four, five, six, seven days. Continues to go to voicemail every day. And so I call my brother. Hey, have you heard from mom or dad? We're supposed to be going to Hawaii on Saturday. And he says to me, no, I haven't heard from dad. I finally called the country club to see if all was well at the home, but it was not. An exclusive address did not stop murder. There was blood spatter on the ceilings of the home, on the walls of the home, on the doors of the home, that truly spoke of the violent nature of this crime. The shears were inside the house. Both of them were in their pajamas, and they were brutally murdered. Ernest, I believe, was the first victim. He suffered multiple blunt force trauma wounds to his head. Charlene's injuries were much more dramatic. She suffered 20 blunt force trauma injuries to her head, cut wounds to her wrists, her carotid arteries, and her jugular vein. Mr. Shear fought so hard that his wedding ring flew off his hand. I mean, he fought until he could fight no more. I sat there tears just coming down my face. What do I do now? I called my brother. You need a plan to drive to Northern California. I just found out that mom and dad are dead. And there was pause. And he said, oh my God, what are we gonna do? This was not a burglary. This was not a robbery. There was something else afoot here. There's money. There's women, there's greed, there's lies, there's deceptions, there's poker. When you can't imagine in your wildest dreams that someone could do this, it becomes clear that really anyone could do it.